Beach FM, locals talking to locals. President of the Horafenua Grey Power, Terry Hemmingson, good morning to you. Good morning, John. Well, this is awful. This is just awful. We've had lots of reaction uh, from our Facebook page and, uh, and phone calls and uh, text messages, etc. Just appalling that this can happen in our community. And Terry, as you know, many, many elderly people are moving into the Kapiti Coast, to the Horafinua, for very, very obvious reasons. We want it to be uh, open arms, to be welcoming, and we don't want this sort of stuff, do we? No, we certainly do not. Um, it's a real worry for our older folk uh, in living in Levin. And as you said, our, our um, seniors who are coming into the community are uh, becoming a, a big part, uh, in percentage-wise, of, of the people who live here and, and want to live here. And we don't need this happening to them. It, it leaves a very bad look, and it's terrible on the victims. Absolutely. Well, potentially devastating on the victims. We're talking here about a 90-year-old woman. She has serious injuries. She's in hospital struggling with those at the moment. Who knows how well she'll recover from that? So it can be life-changing, this sort of thing, can't it? Uh, yes, it can. And <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, with, with this lady, um, I, I know her, but I, I don't wish to name her at this sure. time. But... Um, it's not only her, it's the people who surround her yes. and all of the older folk who live in our community, they're, they're all exceptionally worried. And what can we do, Terry? Uh, uh, in this particular case, um, the, the perpetrators were allowed into the house. Their story, we believe, is they needed to use the toilet. And um, I'll also say that um, it is reported that they are th three young women. Now, for many people of a certain age, violence is not associated with young women, but with young men. And you can almost imagine that the kind of filters that the older people have may not be applicable to life in 2019. Do you think that might be an issue here? Look, I, I think the issue is that um, older folk grew up in an era where you left your doors open, you left your windows open, and you welcomed everybody into your home. Yes. Now, uh, and that, and that was that was what we were grew grew up with. That over time has changed, and I highlight the issue dating back to 1989 when we removed or we introduced, sorry. We introduced the Children, Young Persons and Their Families Act, which effectively said to young people, you can commit any crime you like short of murder or manslaughter, and there will be very few consequences. That has not helped in terms of <clears throat> the mantra under which we grew up was, which was open your doors, open your windows and, and let your community in. That Act of Parliament took that away from us, particularly the older folk, and we're now reaping the benefits of that disastrous piece of legislation. Disastrous. Do you think we should revisit that legislation, Terry? I think it's time, given what we're now seeing, not just in our community, but others. But the other thing you need to be aware of is that um, just this last week, <clears throat> I've had reports from our, um, our seniors of other incidents with young people where they're approaching their houses, they're banging on their doors late at night, they're encroaching on their, on their yards and on their personal space. And the problem is that older people do not like to complain. My advice to them is call the police. Call 111 or police 10 5 and make sure the police know because if they don't know... And clearly they don't know what they don't know. It's important that they then can take the initiative and do something about this. We've got groups of students as we're coming into the latter part of the year who are roaming the streets because they've been released from their schools. Either they haven't achieved and are not doing NCEA external exams or they have achieved and they've been released from school. They've now got a long summer break. And over that break, we're going to have problems if these young people are not observed and, and kept an eye on.
And that's the big problem for me. Terry, I think we should hasten to say that most young people are, are, are great. I'm, I know many outstanding young people. We're talking about a subset here. But a subset that you are saying are, are really causing some issues. And one of the issues is that the laws of the land, in essence, give them a free pass. That's absolutely correct. Look, um, I, I work part-time now um, teaching at a secondary school. And I see part of that subset coming through the school and sadly um, in reflecting upon it I worry that, that um, they're, they're going to be an issue going forward. The flip side of that is that Grey Power have already taken some initiatives in talking to the older folk in our community. We recently had people come and talk to us about um, putting in home security systems now, in t- today's society, I guess that's going to be very important. Uh, this month, Grey Power again <clears throat> uh, uh, inviting people from the from the Crime Camera Unit in Levin, the CCTV cameras that, that uh, look after us um, all the time. They're constantly scanning, and also we've got people who are coming uh, to talk about scam alerts. Now, this one was a physical scam where they scammed mm. their way into this lady's house. Yes. I believe they probably would have already uh, cased the joint and then um, they committed this heinous crime and hopefully the courts will see it for what it is and do something severe to um, the alleged perpetrators. And send a message. A message has got to be sent, yes. You mentioned... Um, however, sorry. as of 1989... I think we let the cat out of the bag and said to these the, the subset, as you refer to them, um, look, do what you like. There's not not going to be any consequences. I was recently out on a community patrol um, because I'm, I'm part of the community patrol here in Levin, and the interesting thing was there were two young men being let out of a store, and the comment was, oh, don't worry about us. Um, they can't do anything. We're underage. Yes, yes, I've heard similar things, no doubt about that. Terry, uh, you mentioned the home security kits before. Uh, this is one of the issues, I believe, that to deck yourself out with the double locks and the chains and the security screens and all that sort of thing, it can be quite expensive, can't it? Yes, it can, and when you're on uh, the pension only, just superannuation, those things are beyond the reach of many of our seniors. So... Um, I guess the, the first thing is a chain on the door, but the other thing is um, not opening your doors to any of these um, comments. That I need to use the toilet. Did you know in this instance there was a toilet just round the road? A public toilet? Public toilet. Goodness me. No, I did not know that. Um, and, and I suspect that um, the, the, the lady who's been the victim of this vicious attack... Um, didn't even factor that in. She's just a nice person who was trying to do something nice for a young woman and she's got caught. Now, we've got to educate our seniors to be far more vigilant. I mean, we're doing a really good job at the moment on scams. Um, Less people are getting caught. But these household invasions, this is not the only one. And as I said, I've had reports of others just this last week where people have been terrorised in their home. First job for all seniors. If you have a concern, if you have a worry, A, don't open your door, and B, call the police. 111. Incidentally, I had occasion to call 111 last week. It wasn't at all serious, it was darned annoying. Very first time I've done it in my life, and I'd heard the reports uh, that maybe this, this was not an easy thing to do. It was ridiculously easy to do. And they were extraordinarily accommodating and efficient. It was all over in a few seconds. I was highly impressed by that. So, uh, for goodness sake, if you have an occasion to call 111, my advice is call 111. Because it's there to do a job, and uh, in my limited experience, it works very well. Look, if you if if you don't call, then you're setting yourself up with a problem. <clears throat> the other one to call is the new number if it's not urgent, which is ten five. Yes. But for most elderly folk, they can remember that one 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 number or set of numbers, and 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 phone it because the police can't help if they don't know. Indeed. 
Terry, are you yep. are you uh, contemplating setting up some kind of, of meeting schedule for people to learn more about? You mentioned the, the scam alerts before uh, and also home security. Have you got some meetings planned that people can educate themselves about the issues and how to deal with them? Uh, yes, um, Grey Power in the Horrifanua does that. We have a monthly meeting and we try to keep our members informed. As I said, we've got this one on the 15th of November. Um, I may now contact a home security company and ask them to bring in some examples of what can be what can be used. We've had them already this year, but I'll get them back to come and, and show people what more they can do to protect themselves, particularly with answering the door. But also we have to be careful of, of the phone and how that's used to scope out houses. Absolutely. So that meeting on the 15th of November, that's your monthly meeting, your regular meeting, is it? Regular monthly meeting. Great stuff. You're doing a grand job, Terry. Thank you for joining us this morning. Keep up the good work. Thank you, John. And, and can you put, put out to all of your listeners how important it is to, to increase their personal safety awareness and also to not open the door to somebody they don't know? Thank you very much, Terry Hemmons. It's been wonderful talking to you this morning. All the best to you. Thanks, John. 106.3 BGFM.